Hey everyone, so happy Sunday to you guys. I wanted to come on, I really wanted to come on earlier, but I wanted to come on and talk about meal prepping. So one of the things that you will see in this group today is that Jean has already started meal prepping for her week. But I wanted to come on and give you guys a few tips about meal prepping. So tip number one, when is the best time to meal prep? Usually I would say if you're not working, the days you don't work. So it could be Saturday, it could be Sunday, and you don't have to prep all of your meals at one time. Maybe you meal prep, for example, maybe you have a busy Saturday, so you say, okay, on Saturday, I'm gonna prep two meals for the week. What will those two meals be? Will they be lunch and dinner, breakfast and lunch? So um, you wanna just, you don't have to meal prep five days. You know, some of you may not like to eat leftovers like that. Maybe you feel like I can eat one or two days worth of leftovers and I'm done. And that's okay. Meal prepping really is basically about fixing your food in a time period like when you don't have, when you're not as busy, right? When you're not at work. That way when you come home during the week or those days that you do work, you are not mm, wasting time or spending time cooking and then having to eat or cooking and snacking, right? So when you get home, if you've meal prepped, you come in, you take your food out and you eat. One of the best ways that I like to meal prep is to use my crock pot. So there's a lot of different recipes online. I've posted some recipes in the group. You can go online, find some crock pot recipes, find some soup recipes. Now I do, I had a client that didn't like to mix her food together. That's perfectly fine. Maybe you make all your vegetables now, or maybe you make all your protein now. Maybe you make a huge salad that you would eat for the next three days. So when it comes to meal prepping, I don't want you guys to think five days or seven days I need to meal prep. No, I want you guys to think about meal prepping um, as many days as you can fit in for one day. So maybe today, today's Sunday, and you decide, okay, I'm gonna meal prep for tomorrow. Now your meal prepping meals can consist of different things. Maybe you meal prep only lunch this week. Maybe you meal prep only dinner this week. Maybe you meal prep lunch and dinner. Maybe you meal prep lunch for the first three days of the week, and then on Wednesday you meal prep the last two days, or, the la or three more days. Um, Maybe, same for dinner. Maybe you meal prep. Maybe your hardest meal and the toughest thing for you to do is dinner time. Maybe lunch is easy for you. Maybe dinner is tough. So maybe you meal prep your dinner. So what does meal prepping consist of, right? All right. So it consists of you having to think in the future. And some people don't know. My husband is this way. I can leave the house and say, okay, babe, um, Take something out the freezer that you want to eat later for dinner. This is the same day. You know what he'll say to me? I don't know what I want to eat. Well, guess what? That don't help me none. <laughs> How does that help me fix him something to eat? It does not. So, for those of you who um, don't really know, you kind of like, I fly by the seat of my pants, whatever I feel like eating that day, I kind of eat. Well, you have to think outside the box. You have to think differently, okay? So, here's the thing. You make, make chicken. You may make fish, and let's just say you make some uh, um, a dish that contains um, ground beef, right? Um, those of you who are vegan or vegetarian, you may do different vegetables. You may also do your carb, your healthy carb. Maybe you do some brown rice. Maybe you do some, um, what I got over there? Um, sweet potatoes, um, quinoa. Maybe you do different things. So now, everybody should... You got to think outside the box again and you just make, maybe you only do your side dishes for a couple days, right? So you side, you prep your side dishes, meaning your vegetables and your healthy carbs. And then maybe this week you only make your protein every day. There's different ways to meal prep. And yes, it is great if you can meal prep for three, five days, two days, right? Um, ahead of time, you have all those meals. But if you cannot do that, I don't want you to stress yourself. I don't want you to give up on meal prepping. I want you to take this one day at a time, or two days at a time, one meal at a time, 
or two meals at a time. So for example, I am off work next week on vacation and I really do need to meal prep. Otherwise I'll be sitting around the house eating whatever I feel like. So after this video, I am gonna meal prep. Um, now for me personally, I don't eat meat during the week. I eat meat on the weekends. So I am gonna meal prep. I like, like I said, I like to make stuff in my crock pot because it is so easy. Maybe I think I'm gonna do some black bean tacos. I love black bean tacos. Like I'm a super duper fan of them. I just, I don't even know what to say about them. <laughs> I love them. So maybe what I'm, I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my crock pot and I am going to start cooking some black beans, right? Adding my seasoning and stuff in them. And now that's not something I have to watch. That, anything you cook in a crock pot, if you have a um, rice cooker, a steamer, things you don't really have to think about, your oven, put those, you know, you season and you put those, those um, that food into these places and start cooking them. Now, of course, I think the hardest part or the most time consuming part of meal prepping is what? The prep part. You have to prep the dish, right? So it's always great, maybe you prep your dishes or your meat or your vegetables on Saturday, right? And then you cook on Sunday. Everything doesn't have to be in one day. So you may um, season all your vegetables and season all your meats and um, get out what you know you're gonna be cooking um, on Sunday. So season your food and then stick it in the refrigerator. Now you have to be nice and season, massage with the seasoning, gets deep into the vegetables, gets deep into the meat, right? Okay, then on Sunday or whatever day you're not working, then what you do is you go ahead and now you start cooking. Maybe I'm putting things into the crock pot. Maybe I'm cutting on the oven and I'm putting my meat in the oven. Maybe I cook my meat and my vegetables in the oven at the same time, right? Um, maybe you have a steamer. Maybe I now cook, make some, um, food in the steamer. So you don't have to meal prep one day. I want you guys to think about that. Don't, you don't have to meal prep one day. If that works for you, that's great. If it doesn't, then don't do that. Meal prep on the different days. Maybe when you don't work, you know, everybody does not work on the weekend. So if you, um, there's a day during the week you don't work, think of what you do, what you do. You start meal prepping on that day. Don't let the days go by and you get so consumed with doing other things, okay? So I want you guys to think about meal prepping as this is a way for me to get my time back on those days that are not, that are very, very busy, right? I don't have time to cook. When you don't have time to cook, think about it. When you don't have time to cook, what do you do? Eat out, eat snacks, not eat healthy. This is a way to avoid that. For those of you who are in school or you just have an extremely busy job, right? Meal prepping, um, you can do so many things. I, you can read and meal prep. I am in a um, women's uh, book club at my church and we read one book a month. And I just thought, oh my God, I better start reading this other book, although I listen to the audio tape. But I can meal prep and read at the same time. right? You can meal prep and read. You can meal prep and listen to audio. You can meal prep and let me tell you guys, you wanna get some exercise in? And those of you who have, who have um, Watches that track your steps. So I don't have a Fitbit, I have A300. Guess what you get to do? You turn on some music. If you like old school music, if you like uh, Christian music, if you like rock, whatever music you like, you put that music on and you get in the kitchen and you start meal prepping. But guess what you can do also while you meal prep? Get you some exercising. I'm in here dancing, moving and grooving. Get me some extra steps in. Let me cut this up. Let me cut my fruit up. Let me cut up my vegetables. You know, you can do a lot of different things where your meal prepping is not boring. <laughs> um, you can get a little exercise in. If you have children, I don't know if any of you have young kids. I don't think so. But if you have kids, oh, yes, you do. Dion, you have young kids. If you have young kids or you have grandkids and they're at your house when you're meal prepping, get them in the kitchen with you. You know what? Have them meal prep the meals they want to eat for the week. Ask them, what do you want to eat this week? What do you want to eat for lunch? You want peanut butter and jelly? Let's make you, maybe not peanut butter and jelly because jelly tends to make the bread go eh. But maybe they, maybe it's something else. You know, um, maybe it's salad. Maybe it's vegetables. Maybe you they take vegetable sticks and stuff for lunch. Um, whatever it is that they do or they're going to eat for lunch, then have them meal prep it also. You can make it a family affair or affair with you and your kids. 
Um, think outside the box. Ask them what they want for dinner. What do you want for dinner this week? You want mac and cheese? Now, you probably not gonna eat mac and cheese, but have them come in. Have them, come on, we're gonna make some macaroni and cheese for Monday night dinner or Monday and Tuesday you can eat macaroni and cheese only if you help me make it, right? Get them involved in it. Get your grandkids involved in it. Get your teenagers involved. Well, er, I was a teenager once. I probably would be like, nah, I'm not gonna do that, mom. <laughs> so, but you could. If you have a close relationship with your kids, you could go ahead and you can get them in the kitchen with you to help meal prep for the week. So you guys, I hope this video helped with meal prepping. I am gonna actually go in here and I'm going to start prepping meals for the week. And I, like I said, I love tacos. I love black bean tacos. So I'm gonna do that. Make sure you guys check out some of the posts in the group as far as the meals are concerned. I'll post a few more today in case you guys need some ideas. And I probably should've did this earlier today, but Sundays are usually my downtime. So today I've been sleeping, I went to church, I, I went to sleep, I've been chilling, I actually had Chinese food for dinner, I mean lunch, but I did, I ate a lot of vegetables, I had my chicken protein, um, I had a little bit of rice, I had mushrooms, uh, so now I'm going to drink some water, give me one second. This is my water bottle that I'm supposed to be faithfully drinking, right? It is. 32 ounces um, and I have not thankfully been using this and that's why I'm dehydrated right now but what I want to tell you one of the things that I did like this is you guys can do so many things with meal prepping Jean has done this I've seen this before um, I love what Sierra is doing she has a gallon bottle of uh, water and she writes motivational things on it about her drinking this gallon of water right hey Dion I mentioned you in the video so make sure you watch the video from the beginning but when it comes to meal prepping, don't forget your water. What maybe what, what you guys may do, if you drink herbal tea and you like to drink it cold, maybe what you do for the week is you, you prep some herbal tea, right? Maybe you prep your water for the week. You know, I just, I usually don't and I probably should, but maybe you fill up a gallon of water and that's your water for the day or the week. Maybe you meal prep also, not just your water. Jean makes fruit water, right? So maybe you, prep your fruit water for the week or your fruit water for a couple days. So don't leave your liquids out when it comes to meal prepping because we gotta drink this also, right? So you wanna uh, meal prep, again, you wanna meal prep for whatever, however you, whatever your lifestyle is, right? Add your kids to the mix of meal prepping. Um, you don't have to meal prep one day, in one day. You might meal prep, maybe you prepare the food one day, you cook the food the next day. Right now, if you have family members who are not doing what you're doing, let me tell you what the what the downside of meal prepping is. They will eat your food because guess why? It's cooked already. That is the purpose of meal prepping. You get home and you eat the food because it's already cooked. You don't have to take the time out. You're not now. You're not starving, snacking, eating stuff you have no business eating because now I'm trying to cook. And but you may want to have a conversation with husbands, kids in-laws, whoever you live with, whoever lives with you, and say, look, this isn't the food I'm eating for the week. Do not eat this. And you probably can say it a million times, and guess what, your food will probably still be gone. <laughs> so, remember, when you are meal prepping, and if you're only meal prepping for yourself, and you have family members, they will probably, because they see it cooked, they will probably eat your food. So make sure you meal prep when you meal prep for yourself, make sure you add a few, a few in, a few uh, dishes or, or some meat or some vegetables for people in your family because they are probably going to eat your food also. Especially if you have different dishes for the day, different days of the week, they could go in there. You might, excuse me, let's just say for example, you make um, chicken and vegetables and brown rice one day, and let's say another day you make um, like let's just call it like a healthy taco dish, healthy taco salad, right? And you have everything in the refrigerator. And let's say your third meal, because then you can you can say, I'm gonna eat this one for lunch, I'm gonna eat this one for dinner, I'm gonna eat this one for a different one for dinner, I'm gonna eat this one, a different one for lunch. So let's say the third meal is um, sweet potatoes and some kind of vegetable and um, beans or something else. So now your family sees all this food in the refrigerator and you're like, oh, oh, I'm hungry. Let me eat this steak 
and I'm gonna grab the sweet potatoes and I'm gonna eat these and eat this salad. And you like, okay, that's my food. I told y'all not to eat that. So just make sure when you're meal prepping, because the food will be done and you know, people come home and they hungry, they, they're ready to eat and if they see your food in there, they're going to probably eat it. <laughs> um, another thing for you guys, if you eat yogurt, um, here's some options. Choose Greek yogurt over regular yogurt. Do not buy fruit yogurt, right? Um, what I want you to do is buy regular yogurt and add fruit to it. Add your fresh fruit to it. That is going to be a lot healthier than you buying fruit-filled yogurt. Okay, so if you're having yogurt, do that. If you like eggs for breakfast, here's a meal prep idea. I don't know how many of you have ever tried this. You can make what's called egg muffins. If you like omelets, you make a big uh, bowl of whatever you would put into an omelet. And if you have muffin pan, six, you know, the muffin pan has six different pans in it, you pour that, you pour that uh, liquid, I guess you could call it, you pour that into the six different slots and you bake it. Now you have six egg muffins for breakfast. You might have two a day, That's, it, that gives you three breakfast ideas. If you like boiled eggs, maybe you boil some eggs in the, for the next couple days and now you have boiled eggs. Um, you guys have overnight oats. I don't eat that. I like my oatmeal hot and fresh off the stove. But you might do overnight oats, you might do chia pudding. So a lot of different things, again, you take the days you don't work or you're not as busy and you meal prep on those days. All right, you guys, I'm going to start cooking my black beans for my tacos this week. Have an awesome Sunday. Post questions. Don't forget, if you um, don't have a Fitbit, we all are still going to be participating by um, tracking our steps. If you don't have a device that tracks your steps, you can use your phone. All right? You can also post those in the group. I think what I'd like everybody to look to look to think about is getting a minimum of 10,000 steps in a day, which means even when you're cooking, if you're cooking and you're moving like this, all right, that's how you get some steps in. All right, you guys, we get to start early. I got a new workout routine for you guys next week. All right, everyone have an awesome Sunday. Bye. Keep pushing on